All right, Q on IOB, it's a music, music Wednesday, COB. Today is January 4, 2023, already here in Pacifica, California, 12 miles south of San Francisco. We got us, yeah, it's, I'm not going to call it low. It's 47, they got up to 57. But, however, we have this, the perfect storm, the cyclone coming in, Midaka Metal style. Let me take a real quick sip. Uh, before I do that, the metal in Midaka today is... Steve Vai, Passion Warfare, blasting in the background at level 11, uh, released back in 1990. That, I was in Maui back then. Nice and warm. Uh, let me just take a real quick sip. Kapai Chin Chin Chayo. I'll get to the point real quick today. What I have here in front of me is just the tools that I needed to get like a ASAP, ASAP uh, yesterday. The reason my tub's out there, man. Um, yeah, it's coming down again. So what had happened is over um, New Year's Eve, California, we don't get rain and we're in a drought situation, but we got this like um, cyclone thing coming down on us. And it hit us hard to the point where I don't even remember the last time it was this hard. Maybe it was back in like 1994 or something like that. And typically what I have on my in my tubs outdoors is I just have uh, a piece of cloth or whatever hanging out. So it, it uses the, the water, um, the surface tension. It just sucks up whatever is excess and it drips it out. And that was fine until New Year's Eve. And it got to the point where I had to run out there and just like dump a bunch of water out of the tubs. So to prepare for what's going on today, right now, January 4th, 2023, uh, I had to get my butt out there and drill some holes. I don't like drilling holes into any of the tubs just because these tubs are, this is a 20 gallon brute that I like, um, Rubbermaid brand. And I don't like making any type of holes for overflow purposes, just because, again, these are just storage bins, right? They're not meant to hold water. Um, and anything you do to these, it, I, I just feel that it just makes them weaker and weaker and weaker. So I stayed away from it, but now that we are starting to see these like storm cyclone bombs or whatever they call it, it's time. And it was time, and I drilled holes outdoors yesterday. And I had to get an extra one. So before we, we, we you and I, are sitting next to me right now, check out what's going on outdoors. Uh, I don't really want to just because, but I, I just want to make sure that everything is working fine. I'll just show you like what I did. And the biggest difference is yesterday I had to do it in or on the existing tanks with water filled with midakas out there. So I drilled everything from the outside, um, the exterior in, which isn't good, uh, just because all the mass ends up in the inside. But so today um, I picked this, the new brood up. I like the brutes, uh, Rubbermaid, because of the, they're strong, they're flexible. They don't bow out as much when you put water in here. Um, but, they have the white ones. The white ones are great for bringing out the Thai Geico, the Lamas and all that stuff when they're younger. And the gray, it's good to bring them back in over here to bring out the colors, right? The darker colors. Um, the black gets too dark. Gray is kind of like a neutral color. So going back to the topic, <clears throat> let me just take another quick sip again. Come by Chin Chin Chayo. Medaka metal style. <clears throat> All right. So you're gonna need a tub, right? And basically that's why we're doing this. I like the brutes. They're pretty, pretty, pretty durable. They're strong um, and they last. Uh, you're gonna need some tape, right? And then uh, you need scissors. Marker, um, a ruler, and you need this screen repair tape. Let's see. 
I'll put a link. Uh, I got this on Amazon for like 70 bucks, I think. And the important thing is, a lot of them, they're not ventilated. They're just for looks. So this one is ventilated, so it comes in a tape form, right? So you just cut it up to the shape that you want. And here, here's an example of like a cut. It's tape on top and the bottom. It doesn't have it on the side, but it doesn't really matter because you're gonna extend it all the way for the, the, the hole, which I'll show. And you need um, a drill. Paul Gilbert style, man, Makita. And you need uh, these hole opener drill kits. Um, I got a kit of 18 or something like that for like 20 bucks on Amazon. Various sizes. I think this is like 32 millimeters. And uh, that's what I used yesterday. So, let me see. So what you wanna do first, ideally, you're gonna do it from the inside, right? So you need the tape to mask everything up to draw the line, right? Depending on where you want the hole, the height and everything, you wanna, you wanna determine like, where the maximum water height and where you want to, st or where you want the maximum to be so the mid don't jump out. I usually try to make sure that there's at least like close to two inches here because mid can jump, right? And, and you don't want them jumping out. So I measured everything, got the target point, and I'm just going to drill. I don't know if you could hear the, hear all the wind and the rain outside, but it's starting to look pretty gnarly out there. Um, so you measure everything and that's your target. Now that you have the target, can I do this with one hand? Um, no, so I'm gonna put this down real quick. Super unprofessional and let me see. Let me just put this down right here. Okay. So you just drill it. Good. And then you have to take the tape off, right? After all that. The tape that you use to put the guide on. You take all that off. And this tape actually helps too, where it picks up all the little fragments of the of the um, plastic. And then after that, what you want to do is hold on. You want to put this. You want to put this on from the inside, and I'll explain after I put it on. So let me put this back down. I wish I had three hands. Just sticking it in from the inside after peeling this. Okay. So that was pretty quick, right? That's that's what it looks like from the inside. And again, the reason why I did it from the inside is so that. The water is gonna, when the water is exiting, it's gonna push out, right? So, I figure it's more secure. Um, from the outside, can you see it? It looks like this. It's pretty clean from the outside. There's all these jaggedy edges, but I could get rid of that later. You could either sand it down or use a knife to just cut the excess plastic. And that's like a, a little bit over an inch in diameter. Um, so now, if the water level comes up to here, you'll start seeing the water exit. One thing you're, or I'm gonna have to start uh, keeping my eyes on is to make sure that there's nothing trapped over here, debris, which will happen in time. Um, I'm not really worried about this because 
Over time, this is gonna go bad and you're probably gonna replace it. Peeling this off is probably gonna be easy. Um, you could just use a heat gun or something like that and probably melt it off or something like that. So that's what I was doing yesterday, long story short. Right when I got back, I was like, I gotta beat this cyclone storm or whatever. But the Brute, uh, it was, the gray one is 24 bucks, the white one is 23. 99 or something like that um there are other brands um which i haven't tried um you could get them at costco and all that they're like 27 gallons for like 15 dollars. they're a lot cheaper for me 27 gallons seems to be a little bit too big for what i do and it just comes in black so for me i like the white i like the gray um to try to bring out the colors depending on what strain the medalkas are so Let's see, it sounds like the wind has died off a little bit. <clears throat> Let me just take a real quick sip and see if we can take a peek to make sure what I did yesterday is working. Actually, the wind did die down a lot. Nice. Well, I could already see uh, my crates have blown from the corner. I usually have them stacked up in the corner over there, but let's see. See, they're not at flood level yet. So again, you're going to see these guys, um, these nets right here on the outside and they're not in the center. Since I had to drill the holes while these things are full. I had to drill from the outside. And I wasn't able to drill from the center over here on these white boots, but it should work. Uh, we'll see how, what happens in the next couple hours, man. Hopefully, uh, let's, let's make sure that it doesn't overflow. The wind's coming back. Okay. Domari Gato. We'll do it again next time. Uh, Instagram at Medaka Metal. Uh, DM uh, questions, uh, comments on the bottom of YouTube. Right, we're on YouTube right now. I keep on forgetting. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. If this was worthless information, uh, but uh, let's enjoy Medaka. All you Medaka heads out there. We'll do it again next time, and hopefully it's a dryer. Okay, come by Chinchin Chayo. Ouch. Whoa!